Um, I, I actually bought a microscope adapter that didn't work for beans for the microscope because it couldn't handle the light. But in playing around a few minutes ago, I was able to look at a diamond that we're going to send in for um, um, laser drilling. It's a carat 62. Um, and I'm in the process of contacting, finding who is the best laser driller in the country. This stone has some major inclusions that we're going to try and, and uh, get rid of. And so um, I've got the diamond set up in the microscope. We're going to try and look at it first. And you'll see the, the nature of the inclusions. They actually um, appear to be garnet. If you get strong enough transmitted light through them, they do appear slightly reddish. And uh, which would indicate that these are uh, garnet. And then there's some uh, cavities in the stone that uh, do have this dark material in them. And so I'm going to go first to that. And we'll try and take a look at that and we'll see if. I'm, I'm actually recording this as a, as a live presentation I did some time ago. And I'm changing it now to um, so you'll hear me talking to people that you won't see what they're writing in questions on the, a side panel. But that's what this is all about. And um, this was done on Pricescope.com, which is a wonderful site for information about diamonds and gems. And so that's um, so you'll hear me talking to people. And it's not that I'm being rude. It's just that they're writing me questions during that presentation. It's not a cloud. It's an inclusion. A cloud would be lots and lots of tiny pinpoints. Um, we went to Florence, Oregon, not Italy. <laughs> that is funny. Now, um, there's one inclusion in particular that I'd love to share with you. OK, you're just getting it in the edge. I'm going to try and get it in focus. Right here is an inclusion that we call a lily pad, lily pad. Let's see if I can get this in focus now. Now, do you see why we call this lily pad? It's got a little crystal here, and then it's got a dark lily pad around the crystal. OK, and isn't that, isn't that fabulous? I mean, and then it's got this big dark inclusion in here, which I suspect is garnet. Little crystal here with the lily pad inclusion around it. Um, don't see you're not seeing it. Okay. Okay. This is the crystal right here. You see my cursor, and then this dark lily pad around the bright crystal. And I'm going to try and do that too if I can, but I don't. We won't be able to see the internal inclusions the way we are through the microscope. Now, this is the table up view. Let me see if I can bring this into even more. There. Oh, there we go. Oh, baby, come to me. Look at that. Now you can see it. So there's the crystal in the center, and here's the dark lily pad around it. And we're looking at about 40 power right now. So this is Pardon me for being self-congratulatory, but this is awesome. This is so cool to be able to do this with just holding the camera to the to the to the lens. Um, <laughs> well, I don't know if I'm amazing, but I'm sure entertaining myself a lot today. Um, let's get this down here smaller so that we can now see the stone. This is a carat 62, so this isn't like a minnow. This is a really nice stone. And it's got that big, nasty black thing up there. Oh, look, 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 look. Look at the red shining through the, the garnet. Wow. Wow. See, that's why you, you, you see the red coming through there. The transmitted light, most of the black in your diamonds are really garnets. Uh, no, 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 no recut on the stone. Absolutely not. Absolutely no recut. You, 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 you couldn't, you'd end up with a nice third of a carrot here. Um, which would be just absolutely criminal. Um, besides, the stone's still pretty, even with this inclusion there. <laughs> okay. 
I like that big black nasty to it. It's wonderful in, a, in an old European or an old mine cut. This is more what we would call an old mine cut because of the irregular shape of the stone. Although it's really quite symmetrical. The measurement from here to here are within a couple of tenths of a millimeter, here to here, and here to here. All of the dimensions are like within two tenths of a millimeter. Um, I love that the red is showing through there and that it's showing on the camera. That just, just tickles me pink. Now I'm going to roll the stone over and give you an, an, another view of the flatness of this inclusion. Um, okay, now let's see if we get it in focus here. We're going to bring that up a little bit. And then you see how flat that is. It's not a big, deep inclusion, which is one of the reasons I think it may be a candidate for laser drilling. Now, the people that used to do this that I know that were in the business, their husband, uh, before he passed on, was one of the pioneers of laser drilling, uh, have long since sold their, their factory, and, and, and in, which was in Belgium. And they're living here uh, in the United States. In fact, he just told me that he is, just was out buying a new jumpsuit today. The guy is a member of several ski, uh, ski diving, skydiving um, teams. I think he was actually a member of the American skydiving team. He's, he's just a, a, a fanatic skydiver. And like me, he's in his 60s, um, refuses to slow down just because of age. He's, he's, he's forever young. I like the guy. No, it tickles me red. <laughs> yes, you're right. It tickles me red. Okay. Now, for anyone that wonders, I've just been hanging my camera um, over the lens of my microscope, and I'm going to take the stone out, and we're going to desk. My desk. Ooh, bad. Messy, messy. Ah, microscope. Okay. Now, we're going to change this. This is a carat 62. It's probably a JK color. I haven't bothered to color grade it, to tell you the truth. But I want you to see now the diamond out of the magnification. And it's got a big black spot in it. And those of you that were here earlier know that this big black spot is not carbon. But in fact, as we showed in the transmitted light, this big black spot is, in fact, garnet inclusions. OK. Uh, Laughter won't kill your desk is as bad as mine. Yes, it probably is worse. But yes, it's certainly at least as bad. And, OK, you weren't kidding about big. <laughs> and, and so it's a big black spot. It really does. But look again. You can see it in the back. It's a flat black spot. So we should be able to laser drill this, get the acid in there, etch out the black, and turn that big inclusion. It will still be a big inclusion. And, uh, well, OK, Sarah, when you cut a diamond crystal, this is very Okay, that's a good thing. We'll talk about that right now. Okay, your rough diamond is a well-shaped rough diamond that is roughly the shape of an octahedron. And in the case here, what they do is, I don't know if you can see this, this line of top here. They would actually come down a little bit further. They would, they would saw this through here. And you get a little diamond called the toppy out of this top portion. And the big diamond comes out of here and then comes down close to just a little bit in from the angle of the um, eight faces to come to cubit would be actually just up in there a little bit. Um, and so this, in the, in the old European and the old uh, mine cuts, they just ground away the top of that. They didn't cut a toppy out of the stone because they hadn't yet invented the diamond saw. Okay, I'm going to uh, put this here and uh, we're going to stop now and we'll go to the next video. I was just explaining that on the toppy you get a much smaller stone than from the main stone. So you might end up with a stone that is, uh, for example, a carat and a quarter out of the main stone. and. 15 to 25 pointer out of the toppy. 
we are going to now go ahead and uh, stop this video and what you'll find is that uh, we're going to come back and do part two of this in which we show you the absolutely incredible transformation of this stone after it was laser drilled.